Now, Ayurveda Siddha Yunani Drug Technical Advisory Board, that is ASUDTAB, it advises, which advises the government on the issues related to the drug. And the second body, that is Ayurveda Siddha Yunani Drug Consultative Committee, that is ASUDCC, which advises the government on the issues related to its implementation. The state licensing authorities who actually look after the tasting process of Ayush drug to ascertain their purity and safety. So, the licensing authorities they are very particular in ensuring what tasting process or tasting procedures are being carried out in the manufacturing industry of ASU drugs, that is Ayush drugs, Ayurveda Yunani Siddha Homeopathy Medicines, to ensure quality, safety, and purity of the drug. Now, let us go a little bit more in detail about Ayurvedic Siddha Yunani Drug Technical Advisory Board. So ASU DTAB, that is Ayurvedic Siddha Yunani Drug Technical Advisory Board, the central government shall, by the notification in the official gazette, and with effect from such date, as may be specified therein, constitute a board which is called as ASU DTAB, to be called as Ayurvedic Siddha and Yunani Drugs Technical Advisory Board. Now, this particular advisory board, that is Ayurvedic Siddha Yunani Drug Technical Advisory Board, it was being formed to advise the central government and the state government on the technical matters arising out of this chapter and to carry out other functions assigned to this by Chapter 4A. So, any technical issues pertaining to manufacturing of Ayurvedic Siddha Yunani medicines. Also, to advise the central government, this particular board was being formed, that is Ayurvedic Siddha Yunani Drug Technical Advisory Board. Now, coming to the constitution of Ayurvedic Siddha Yunani Drug Technical Advisory Board. The board, it shall consist of the following members, namely, the board, that is Ayurvedic Siddha Yunani Drug Technical Advisory Board. It is going to have following members, the Director General of Health Services, ex officio, who shall be the Chairman, the Drug Controller of India, ex officio, the Principal Officer dealing with Indian Systems of Medicine in the Ministry of Health, ex officio, the Director of Central Drugs Laboratory, Calcutta, ex officio. The director of the Central Research Institute, Pasoli, ex officio. The director of the Indian Veterinary Research Institute, Izat Nagar, ex officio. The president of the Medical Council of India, ex officio. The president of the Pharmacy Council of India, ex officio, the director of the Central Drug Research Institute, Lucknow, ex officio, two persons to be nominated by the central government among persons who are in charge of drugs control in the states, one person to be elected by the executive committee of Pharmacy Council of India from among teachers in pharmacy or pharmaceutical chemistry or pharmacognosy on the staff of an Indian university or a college affiliated thereto. One person to be elected by the executive committee of the Medical Council of India from among teachers in medicine or therapeutics on the staff of an Indian university or a college affiliated thereto. One person to be nominated by the central government 
from the pharmaceutical industry one pharmacologist to be elected by the governing body of the indian council of medical research one person to be elected by the central council of the indian medical association one person to be elected by the council of indian pharmaceutical association one person holding the appointment of a government analyst under section 33f to be nominated by the central government one pharmacognosist to be nominated by the central government one phytochemist to be nominated by the central government four persons to be nominated by the central government out of which two are from amongst the members of ayurvedic pharmacopoeia committee one from among the members of unani pharmacopoeia committee and the remaining one from among the members of siddha pharmacopoeia committee so there will be four persons which will be nominated by the central government two from ayurvedic pharmacopoeia committee and one each from unani pharmacopoeia committee and siddha pharmacopoeia committee one teacher in dravya guna and bhashijya kalpana to be nominated by central government one teacher in in ul advia and taklis wa dawa sazi to be nominated by the central government one teacher in guna padam to be nominated by the central government three persons one each to represent ayurveda siddha and unani drug industry to be nominated by the central government three persons one each from among the practitioners of ayurvedic siddha and unani tip system of medicine to be nominated by the central government the central government shall appoint a member of the board as its chairman the nominated members of the board they shall hold the office for 3 years but shall be eligible for renomination the board may subject to previous approval of the central government make bylaws fixing a quorum and regulating its own procedure and conduct of all the business to be transacted by it the functions of the board may be exercised not withstanding any vacancy therein the central government shall appoint a person to be the secretary of the board and shall provide the board with such clerical and other staff as the central government considers necessary the latest gazette notification regarding the constitution of ayurvedic siddha unani drug technical advisory board was published in the year 28 july 2011 now let us go to the sub committees of ayurvedic siddha unani drug technical advisory board so the department of ayush that is ayurveda siddha unani homeopathy they have constituted five sub committees under the ayurveda siddha unani drug technical advisory board now these five sub committees are the first sub committee the first sub committee they will examine schedule z and other relevant notifications the second sub committee the second sub committee it is formed to evaluate the proposed retail sale license for ayurveda siddha unani drugs the third sub committee they would review the model laboratory practices for ayurvedic siddha unani drugs the fourth sub committee which is formed to amend first schedule of drugs and cosmetic act 1940 for the list of authoritative ayurvedic siddha unani books 
the fifth sub committee is to examine the shelf life of ayurvedic siddha unani medicines